our game of the week. Now, this one is what the gamblers would call a pickup. Nobody's favored. It's too close to call. Radford and Gretna, both quality playoff bound teams, and they showed why tonight. Both squads 2 0, having met in the playoffs a year ago. Tonight, another instant classic. Eric, take it away. Hey, Appy, we know coming into this one that Radford would have the size advantage, and they really try to get aggressive with every team that they actually go against each and every week. As for Gretna, they have the speed advantage, so something had to give tonight. Let's show you the highlights and get on out to this one. Radford going to Rumble tonight, doing it without leading rusher P.J. Prelu and leading tackler Justice Marshall. Gretna striking first. Tabor Mavens hits Dalen Miller, 64-yard touchdown for the 7-0 lead. Radford responded, and we were tied at 7 at halftime. Second half, check out quarterback Zane Roop shedding tackles and taking it all the way up the right sideline. 50 yards for the touchdown score. It's a 14-7 Radford advantage, but not so fast. Here comes Gretna. I like my burger with fries. This is Mr. Jordan Burger off to the races. 70 yards to the house. We're tied at 14. Hawks held the ball late with a chance to win it with the field goal. Mr. Custodio Canaris is going to line up and try to kick it here. It's just wide right. No good. We have overtime. Here's Gretna's Tabor Mabins hitting Cameron Mabins for the touchdown. Important to note the PAT, no good. So Radford responded quickly. Darius Wesley Brubeck goes in for his second touchdown of the night. Fans pumped up about this one. But here we go, the all-important extra point in overtime. It's the ace, Connor Litton. It's lit. He drills it. Radford gets the win 21-20. You can tell we're just going to line up and try to go right at them, use our offensive line, and hang in there with our defensive line, and uh, we kind of did. I mean, I know some people want us to throw a little bit more and stuff, but they weren't giving us that. We thought we could run and got there, and uh, just kids gutted it out. I'm so proud of them. Knowing that, like, PJ's out, and he was, like, a big back in the game. I know I had to step up with a lot of pressure to help bring the game. It's interesting to note that both coaches said uh, earlier in the week that this one would come down to special teams and actually protecting the ball, and that's exactly what it came down to, a special teams play. Second year in a row that Rafford has won this matchup by just one point.